cornerstone on this building says 1903. I know some of you think you're old, and some of you feel like you've aged several years in the past few months, but I know none of you are as old as this building. And at times this year, it's felt like the world was coming to an end, but rest assured, the downtown church is still here. Our people are scattered around the city, and we're not all together worshiping, but we're still united, still here. And yeah, you know, things change, and, and it's been a crazy year, but the mission, the vision, and the values of the downtown church are still here. These front steps have witnessed a lot over the past century. And our iconic bell tower has looked over the corner of Walnut and Jefferson through it all. Good times and bad. And over time, as technology has changed, from horse and buggy to cars and automobiles, the church has still been here through it all. Wars, pandemics, you name it, it stayed here. People have come here to worship. And while you've been gone, we've taken the time to fix some of the problems, like the gaps in these steps the tuck pointing in the bricks, sealing the bell tower, and fixing ceiling and lights. And we're doing this not just because they're necessary, but because we're planning on a bright future. The question was asked years ago, should we just sell the building and close down? And it was a fair question at the time, but now, things have changed. This is a growing, thriving church, and it's still here, and it's gonna be for a long time. You know, the goals we set for ourselves at the beginning of the year may have been flipped upside down, but that doesn't mean we haven't been accomplishing them anyway. It's true, we didn't go out into the community to create new groups, but it turns out the community came here. There have been nonprofit boards that have been meeting in our space. There's an Al-Anon group that meets in our basement every single day. And yeah, our youth group might not have met in person, but we've been checking in with each other online every single month. And our small groups didn't materialize like we thought, but groups have been gathering online and in person to dive deeper into this faith walk together. With a building like ours, there's always things to fix, rooms to update, ongoing maintenance, but that's what churches that are planning for the future do. They're ready for what's next. They keep the building, the people, and the vision on the top of the line. Because you know what? We're still here, and we're going to be here for a long time.